this is gonna be level one, where when you place your foot on the wall, that knee and heel are in line, you're gonna be at about a 45 degree angle of hip flexion. That means your hips are way behind your knees. Level two, a little more challenging because we can get a little more range here, is you're gonna be at a 90 degree angle. So your hips are gonna be below your knee that's gonna make a 90 degree angle shape right here, heel still in line with foot. So we start with level one, this means that we're working with a better range for your hips because you don't quite have the range to get that close to the wall. So you're going to start with this one. So you're going to have your foot in line with your knee and hip socket, toe pointing up. And that shin will be parallel to the ground, knee and heel in line with each other. Other leg's going to be in the air. You're going to start with pulling your heel down on the wall. Watch how that tucks my hip underneath me. The only way this is happening is my foot peeling wallpaper down off the wall. So I'm going to continue to pull my heel downward and I'm going to feel that my hamstring starts to pull my hip underneath me, rolling my butt pocket up into the back of the thigh. You should feel a good amount of hamstring here and maybe a little bit of inner thigh. You'll feel the bottom of the glute, but you should not feel it clenching and the whole thing working overall. This is really just about getting that hamstring inner thigh working together with a little bit of that same side ab. You're gonna hold this position. It's a lot of work on the leg. If my left leg is on the wall, my left arm is going to reach up. So I have opposite arm and leg reaching up. This shoulder blade is gonna come off the ground and that's gonna help open up the space on the back side of my ribs. We're gonna hold this and we're gonna exhale. As I exhale, I'm feeling my shoulder blade reach more. I'm keeping this heel pulling down constantly so I don't drop back to the floor. I'm gonna pause after and then breathe in very slow. And then I'll feel air going into my back. Same thing again, exhale. Still holding this position, still making that effort so I don't droop down. I'm still pulling down with my heels, still getting the shoulder blade to reach. Once I finish my exhale, I'm gonna pause, seal my lips, breathe in as slowly and quietly as I can through my nose. And you should feel that air expanding your backside like a stretch. Level two is the exact same thing, but you're gonna have your hips under your knees. This means that you'll have a little more room to bridge up higher, but higher is not the goal if you're not able to do it only through the foot. So make sure that you're not just lifting off the floor. We wanna make sure that we have rolled our hips because our feet pull down and they scoop into the back of the thigh. So it should look like this. It's like you're the banana peel coming off the banana. The floor is a banana, you are the peel, you're peeling off really slow, you're pulling down with the heel, your knee's going up and forward toward that wall. And you should feel a little bit of, um, or rather a lot of hamstrings and a little bit of that butt. You might be able to get higher here because you're closer to the wall, but again, make sure you're doing it only through the foot. Do not let your back get involved here. Same thing, I'm gonna exhale. Reach that same side shoulder blade, opposite leg is also reaching up. Pause before I breathe in, and then let the air in slowly and quietly. Make sure you're feeling that rib cage deflate when you're exhaling, that will get you the best stretch in your back. That will also get your hamstring working really well with your inner thigh. And that air will give you a really nice stretch, especially in the upper back, which is on the floor. Again, make sure you're going just as far as you're able to with that strategy. We're not looking for crazy height here. We're looking for making sure the foot is the one doing that hip position. 